Hi, my name's Karen and I am currently doing the third challenge called Custom Name Tags in the Khan Academy course HTML and J JavaScript Making Web Pages Interactive. So I'm going through the courses and as I go I am recording how I solved each of the challenges that they give us. So let's see what I do what I like to do first is to read the directions <laughs> which makes sense. So our first step is to store the headings in variables. So it says this web page is, this web page uses divs to create name tags for a few famous computer scientists. In this challenge, you'll use JavaScript to change the text of all the header ones in the name tags. In this first step, you'll use document get elements by tag name to find all the headings and store them in a variable. All right, so this is new. Um, this document get elements by tag name. In the past, we've used document get elements by ID to target elements in the HTML with our JavaScript um, with their ID tags. This time, we're going to use. Um, a tag name so um, a tag as in like a header one or a paragraph tag so we it wants us to target the header one tags which um, I see one right here and there's another one right here and those show up um, here with the hello my name is Okay, so that's what we're targeting. So um, we're gonna go ahead and it tells us to find all the headings and store them in a variable. So we need to create a var variable and I'm gonna say heading L's because um, uh, it's a heading and there's more than one, so I'm using heading L's. And I'm gonna say gets and then I'm telling it what to target to store in this variable. So I'm gonna say document get elements by tag name and then the tag I want to target is h1 cool so we passed that first step nice work moving forward hopper says um, thank you so much hopper let's go on to the next step so the next step this step gave me pause I actually had to um, refer both back to the video on how Pamela did stuff and also in order to talk to you about it as I do it, I had to look up some some other additional uh, videos outside of Khan Academy. So the reason this uh, step gave me a pause is because it, we're going to use a for loop. So let me go ahead and read the directions and then um, we'll get to that. So it says change the headings. And it says now that you've stored the headings and variables, use a for loop to iterate over them and change the text to something else like hello world or allo. I had to review what a for loop is um, <laughs> because even though I feel like I generally know the concept a lot of time in code, it gets a little fuzzy. So um, the reason we're going to use a for loop is because uh, we want uh, we want something to happen more than once. So what we want to have, have happen is we want the for loop that we're going to create to iterate through each of the headers um, the heading ones and change them to something else. So essentially we have an array of things. Um, so we're going to say um, we're going to create this uh, for loop to iterate through them and do, uh, do something more than once. So I'm going to say let i equals zero. This is what we call the initial expression in the for loop and it helps me to write out, write out let i get zero because in my mind it's like i is just something completely random it could be any letter it could be a number i think um or i don't know a word but we just pick something and we're saying let this thing we've we've picked be zero um to and that's to initialize our expression so um then our next part of the for loop, and I'm going to check my notes here, um, is our condition. Um, so we're going to say, we're going to compare two things. And while they uh, are true, it's going to run the for loop. And if it decides, if the for loop um, 
tests a condition and it's false, then it's going to stop running. So we're going to say while i is less than the um, length of our array called heading l's, which is it has two items in it, um, this header one and this second header one. So while i is less than the length of headers header l's, we're going to say I want you to add, um, keep going through the array. So increment through the array by one. Um, and that last part of the for loop is called the increment. Okay, so we've done that. And then um, basically that first part of the for loop tells us, tells the computer um, how long we're going to do something, essentially. Um, and now we're going to tell the computer um, what we want it to do um, for each of the indices in the array that we created with this variable heading else. Whew, hopefully I explained that right and I didn't misspeak, but if I did, let me know in the code. I mean, in the uh, comments. Anyway, um, so for this next part, we're going to say heading L's, and we're going to say um, we have to say for each instance of each index of the array. So not just for the heading L's variable, but for each part of it, this header one and this header one, um, which is re represented by this I. We're going to say um, I want you to change it using the um, inner HTML, and I'm just going to call it a command, even though I'm not totally certain that's how you refer to that, but using inner HTML, and we're going to say, thanks for watching my video. I'm a super cool scientist named. <laughs> All right. Um, my name is not Grace Harper. My name's Karen, but uh, Hopper, Grace Hopper. <laughs> my name's Karen. Um, but you know, thanks for watching my video. And uh, I think we completed the challenge. So let me know if I misspoke or if you have any questions or anything. Uh, also, yeah, just say hi if you're part of the Khan Academy community uh, and you found this helpful. Also, I'm going to link to uh, one of the resources I looked at in order to explain for loops to myself again. Uh, I'm going to do that in the description. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.